trying to do a video here now of um, some of my models that are painted in the past. Some of these are painted when I was a kid in the you know, 60s, 70s. Um, some more recent years. I used to do competition and won a lot of uh, medals and certificates and such thing at one time. Um, I also collect figures and I did collect figures and uh, other such things. That's a, a Gandalf figure that's been altered to just be a wizard on a mountain. Here we have an Horizon Punisher figure. I painted the thing that once got me second place in uh, Northern Military Competition. Another Horizon figure there. That one's a solid, the Superman. Yeah, I got that from uh, Warner Brothers store when it was in Manchester. A few other figures up and around a mm, couple of figures that uh, I once painted you'll have to forgive the dust on a lot of these things it's uh, a mammoth task doing them all in one go Hulk also got me uh, placed in uh, I think it was third place in a competition. The base I made myself, the words oak, crap, all cracked up there, was, it's moulded in uh, Plaster of Paris and I used uh, Lego base and Lego bits to, uh, sorry, to uh, separate it. My Wolverine, I decided to do more comic book character as you notice with the eyes and uh, colouring. It was a comic I was reading at the time where I was in sort of stealth mode, so um, there's a quiet road, now very a dusty Captain Scarlet. Um, I'll just come back across here again because uh, I've just realised it was a little bit out of focus. So, where are we? Where's the battle door? I've gone. Yep. That's one of my hand painted figures. So um, come down a little bit close. I can say I've had a lot of these uh, models, uh, like the Invaders one, and a few of the others I've had for a very long time. And if we come round here, we can see Spider-Man on the wall. And then another Horizon Hulk model, which I altered in a few ways just to make uh, it different as the Grey Hulk, which again was a comic book character I'm going at the time. Um, as you notice, I've collected a few uh, plates and things as well. And, um, coming across here to my smaller Daleks, Tardis. Um, some cast figures which are quite rare now. Um, Dalek there, another Dalek there. Both 13 inch figures. Um, like the Dalek at the back of the room. It's also a 13 inch figure. This is uh, this, the uh, 50th anniversary model, I think it was time and I actually got it at quite a good price. Um, some die cast Star Trek models that uh, Eagle Moss have been doing with a, a magazine. Coming very quickly up to the mantelpiece, zoom back a bit. Um, 
some more eagle moss. Um, that's some sort of Japanese uh, vac foam figure that I painted uh, some years back. Um, that board kit is all resin and I got it at a uh, convention whew, like some 15 years ago and the guy only made uh, a limited number, about 50. And I got it for a couple of quid which was quite nice. It fits in more with the uh, the much tinier Star Trek figures but uh, I painted that one as well. And of course Brave Art, which I also painted. And then we're going to swing across here a minute and some more Superman. Now Superman was really the first comic hero that I started reading comics about when I was about eight or nine. And even though I do like all the other, um, like Marvel and such like, uh, Superman is always my number one that pulls me back to uh, to be read. There's not enough graphic novels about these days of Superman compared to a lot of the others. Um, for model steam engines in 172 scale that uh, I did, and then we're going to just move that door a minute. I'm going to say very quickly. Uh, as you can see, some figures up on the uh, little wall brackets there. Uh, don't look too hard at the dust coming around. Oh, Bruce Lee, resin figure. I have to. It was very badly moulded that one, I had to do an awful lot of um, alterations on it to get it right, so I was quite chuffed with that when it finally came out. And now I'm going to quite quickly zoom upstairs, I use those posters as well. Quickly turning to my room, there's a radio control AMO figure that I've yet to be able to fly. Uh, some old kits there on, on the top, I've had from a while. More figures, old figures, and then we're going to zoom in to Turn the light on a bit. This had more figures on it before, but because the loft is above, I had to uh, take some off because uh, there's a lot of dust comes out of the loft when you lift the loft door. So uh, attic, some people call it, but uh, it's not so much an attic. And then we're going to zoom into the room which I've uh, been trying to uh, tidy up slowly but surely. When you consider that I had probably Just a messy shelf with some stuff flung on at the moment. Like I said, I've been trying to get the room into some sort of order so I can use it for model making again. A rising goblin there, there to take down because um, when it got too warm, the wings were bending. Electronic. Um, B9 robot, which. Uh, there's a sensor on it. And uh, when you pass a shadow, he starts talking. So I'll just switch him off for the moment. He's sprung as well. I forget the company that, that uh, did him years ago. Uh, a very dusty bat, but uh, playing rather. 
partly finished Cyclops. Um, oh. These are the uh, that's the Bam Bam Valkyrie. That's the Talos. I think that's a harness, that's a figure. I've got a bit jumbled up there. And of course I'm experimenting on these two Nova Stars with a bit of colour in at the moment just to see how that looks out. Some eagles that uh, I bought, took apart and repainted so that uh, they were white. Um, toy that was a normal. Just, well, it's just no, normal plastic shiny colour now. I repainted that. That's quite a rare, rare kit. Mad Cat by Horizon. I think that's about uh, 18 inches tall. Uh, we swing around here and across. I have uh, various other box kits waiting to be done. Battle Star Galactica, Morbius, Pegasus, Stop Type, Nautilus, coming back a bit, Star Trek, Bit Duster. He's out of some computer game, I just like the way he looked. Um, these cupboards here are absolutely full of um, kits and stuff. Um, let's just come back. These are all Star Trek kits. I've probably got about another five boxes of. Uh, except for that one, which is the Aliens kit. But um, I think I might be getting rid of them before long. And then I have boxes of um, die cast and other stuff. Uh, some railway stuff I was experimenting with. The Horizon, Doctor Doom, very rare. Fort on the end, that castle rather, not fort. That castle was and built by a friend, there is not another one like it. Uh, some of the roofs come off so you can get inside the buildings, gateways open, all sorts of stuff like that. Absolutely brilliant, and he gave it away to me. This is an area, the area I'm trying to prepare, but as I dig into stuff, I seem to pull more stuff out and mess it up again. But this, this is essentially my work area. Um, and like I said, I'm using the ironing board at the moment because I mess things up. Um, this is one of my favourite uh, ships at the moment. I managed to get painted and shaded. Yes, it's from Stargate. Lovely little piece. Oh, is that hard work getting hold of that one at the time? But uh, anyway, so uh, if I can just turn that round so that I can see the lens. Oh, too close, too close. Um, it's just a little view of um, quite a lot of models that I've got and. Um, Obviously, I'd take all day to get in and detail everything, but um, eventually I'll get it all tidied up. Uh, well, I'll say eventually. You wouldn't believe how much stuff I've thrown away and moved around in uh, in the last months in order to get this into a working room again. Um, like my buddy. Harder. And got him at a classic car show. Um, a freebie. Years back when I used to be involved in uh, going on cruises with um, my cars and stuff. Um, I don't think there's a, an awful lot that I can just show you without showing you I'm, what an absolute wreck the room really is at the moment. But, um, a lot of these, like the die casts, 
no they're not die casts, these are resin, resin casts at the back here. I've painted them myself and I've had them a number of years, a good 10 to 15 years. This one here is out of the kit box at the top in there, if I can just zoom in on it, which was the Empire Strikes Back and it comes with like a mini Millennium Falcon and various other little bits, but uh, they're not some very well detailed. Um, so they'll probably just sit there for a while. I think my grandson might actually be adding these seeing as he's such a Star Wars fan, but I thought I'd pull this one out because it is very nicely detailed and quite a large ship, so it fit quite well with the... It's only clipped together at the moment, it's not glued. Um, so it will fit quite well with the fleet I want to build because I'm going to concentrate more on spacecraft than uh, robots and figures but um, another uh, resin build um, oh and I forgot um, I have loads of posters along the corridor here but, uh, this is from when the kids used to be young and, and came here so um, it's getting like a bit tatty now. Yeah, lots of figures. I can't really get a, a great angle there, but uh, I can just we have to cram in it to the, the top bits here. Then at the top, a modified ice man. We're using a an ice cloth Christmas tree, um, and so on. Mostly Marvel figures. Those, those are from. It wasn't Burger King, was it? It was either Burger King or it was one of the pizza places that uh, we're giving these Star Trek thingies out. Um, I think this door is, yeah, unfortunately this door is locked, so this is going to be a bit difficult, but um, you can see the spacecraft from Aliens there, and uh, it's a plastic version of um, like a robot, let's uh, see if I can get it, a little TARDIS with uh, the Peter Davison Doctor that I did in I think it was the 70s when I got that from an exhibition that had been on for many, many years in Blackpool. Um, that's an original Land of the Giant spacecraft. I lost uh, a little, um, little thing that was glued on the top, but I did that. I'm not sure whether it's a monogram model or not. When they first came out and all I did was just paint the black and grey stripe on and leave it orange and a little bit of shading, which is the sort of thing I did when I was... Uh, a kid if I weren't, or younger when I were do, weren't doing things for competition. So there's Vincent and of course then the evil evil robot. Um, Sergeant Major Zero from Terra Hawks. A few other Star Trek -y die casts. A little plastic, it's not plastic, no, it's a vac form and plastic card spaceship. I got it for three or four pounds out of the back of Model Mart in the early 80s, end of 70s, early 80s. And the guy had intended to do a whole um, succession of these things. And what it was, it was just the basic back form body. And then um, the, the uh, wings at the back. And that was it. And you, you, the idea was that you modified it then to are you fitted. He was providing you with a platform, so obviously um, you can just see it, the plastic card wings, torpedo for a, a little uh, probe on the end, and so on. Uh, and that's oh, cramped down here. The original Lindbergh. Um, I think it was a UFO or something like that. Um, I know I got it back in the 70s. Um, the Umpro October submarine, Typhoon class. Oh, 
Right, this is the arm. Oh, getting up off floor again. Right. Spawn figure catching dust there. Like I said, uh, I'll have to figure for that. Uh, Gandalf. few postcards like I said all oh, that was full of figures until I had to go up in the loft and a ton of uh, crap fell down so I had to shift stuff which is in bags at the moment uh, some sort of um, Star Wars gaming type stuff that you got uh, game cards with but when I saw them I thought mm, nice little well painted up figures them so from uh, the, the uh, first Godzilla movie coming out uh, that came out, not the, the more up to date 2014 one. Oops, we went all over the place here, so anyway, where am I? Oh hang on, here's another one. Again, a bit dusty, but uh, all raw milk cows on them bottom two rows there, post office telephones and then uh, various other die cast cards, some quite rare now, around more post office stuff. I did 30 years for Royal Mail so um, in the days when Royal Mail were good I was a bit of a, a bit of a fan I suppose but uh, that's waned since uh, Finish me on sit grounds in 2010. Um, and of course, showing you all these um, figures uh, and things um, like uh, Judge Dread there and such like. It just shows that um, I got a bit too diverse many years back. Oh, here's a, a radio controlled. Um, Tiger tank that I did and all. I think it's something like one sixteenth scale. Let me just reach across and put me on that. You see what I mean? It's quite a large one. Radio control, guns work, fires BBs, all sorts of stuff. I just give it a slap of paint. I didn't do uh, a work of art on it. Just from a distance gives it a look when people are, uh, are seeing it moving up and down. But anyway, coming back to what I was saying, zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, I got a little bit diverse um, on the model making many years back, and of course, uh, due to doing too many things at once in my life, thinking I was Superman and could do everything, um, and everybody was willing to pile stuff on me at the time, um, I had a nervous breakdown, and because of that breakdown, I kind of lost something. You lose chemicals inside your brain, and that was something that uh, um, none of the medications at the time were helping me with. In fact, they were making me worse. So I kind of lost the feel for model making, and I had um, started too many different things. I never did one job and worked on, on that. I started on lots of jobs and kept working backwards and forwards and I'm kind of doing that a bit now and I need to watch it, I need to try and stick to one thing to, because my interest is slowly coming back but I don't want to overpower it because um, that can happen and you can just set yourself back again. Anyway, enough about that, that's a lot of rubbish. Uh, <laughs> the main thing is that uh, I'm just giving you a gist of um, what my taste for model making die cast um, uh, things from TV and movies from 60s, 70s, 80s and you know right up to date um, that I really love that I grew up with uh, especially all the Jerry Anderson stuff like uh, you probably saw the uh, Fireball X05 supercar, Stingray, um, Lady Penelope's car was the you know all that sort of stuff. So anyway I'll sign off for now and I hope uh, you enjoyed the little visual uh, around the house um, and perhaps I can do another one in more detail when I get it tidied up uh, so thanks for watching bye for now